but yeah. just and let me add this: Is it really your contention that there's no health effects to being in captivity? There are no health effects. You mean they're going to live forever? No. I mean, is there more? Are they going to live less? Is there is there no, no my, negative pejorative? My effect contention is that living in a zoo in aquarium is different than living in the wild. Okay. Okay. There are different uh, pressures and experiences that every animal faces. But what, what's important is that to understand these animals have adapted well to this environment and their longevity has been worse in the past, absolutely. But we have shown a steady increase in longevity of captive uh, killer whales. And this poster right here is taken from the data uh, from killer whales all over the world. It was at the conference here at by Innes, right? And this shows the mean life expectancy starting uh, dismally back in the past, going up blue for all zoologic aquariums. This red is a very uh, is a population of uh, killer whales uh, in the Indian Ocean, which is not doing well. This uh, magenta, I don't know why I picked that, I can't say it, uh, is a population, it's the com combined northern and southern resident uh, population survival rates. This black is the uh, Norwegian adult animals, and this uh, green is the southern Alaskan residents. So as you can see, and statistically, I can't say that we're doing better uh, because uh, that we have small numbers, but empirically, it, there is, looks to me like fairly strong evidence that we are improving and we're as, at least as good as survivor rates uh, in the wild. Uh, if you want well, I have a couple of responses to that. One sure. is I would very much like you to submit that to a peer-reviewed journal for publication. And I, have I'm going to do it at the same time you do. I'm hoping I beat you to it, but um, that would be the proper uh, route to take rather than to hold up a chart like that. Well, I know, agree, but this was, this was presented like this. at the Marine Mammal Conference. So no, this no, is that work used a data set that was incomplete. And uh, we've had long discussions with the author of that paper yeah. about the incomplete um, nature of her data set. I, I think um, that's a fair But also, enough. let me just say. Um, <laughs> I think that's fair enough, Dr. Rose. But um, like you, I've been working with SeaWorld's data. Oh, that's too. great. I just love this. And this is a complete data set, and there are SeaWorld's animals. Uh, the same trend we're seeing, they're increasing. This is the northern southern residents. This is the right. Norwegian whales. This is the southern Alaskan residents. There is, they're not better, they're not worse right. statistically, and, and I appreciate And that. I actually really um, do appreciate that graph because that's sort of what we found, that the southern Alaskan residents are still doing um, far better than the um, whales at SeaWorld, but that the SeaWorld curve has gone up. And I, I guess my point there is that that's a learning curve that, is ref, that reflects mortality that shouldn't have occurred. You are, this is an experiment, and those are your experimental results, and they are improving, and that's to be lauded. But the fact is, is that that curve re represents a lot of animals that die that should not have died. Well, if